Hello everyone, it's me, Maya. How are you guys doing? It's been forever. As you can see, I'm home. I'm getting ready for bed and I really want to run myself a bath. So I figured while I'm waiting for this bath to run, I can talk to you guys. So I need that water to get hot and I also need this to not be really loud. So, we're going to improvise. Now, also have to be super careful not to drop you into there. And I'm gonna go to the quiet part of my house. So I've had a couple of thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys. First of all being, you guys know I work, I just picked up a towel from the floor. Um, you guys know I work, and gen generally I have to work with some fairly difficult people. And one day I found myself ranting and raving and just like, this person is so rude and this person sucks and all this jazz. But then I had to stop, stop myself. Because my thing was, if I wouldn't invite this person into my house, why am I allowing them to take so much time in my brain with me ranting and raving them and giving them so much of my time and my headspace, but I wouldn't invite you to my house? We do that so often where we're like, oh, this person is so rude and we talk about them and we're just like, this person stinks, but you should not be spending that much time on a person you don't even like. I have to remind myself of this all of the time because it's just like, yes, this person is rude to you. Yes, this person is not very nice. That's fine. But you should not be giving them so much of your headspace. Don't waste your time on them. They are not thinking that much about you. Don't do that for them as well. Second thing. Oh, no. But first. I was bored today, and I got off of work early, and I was like, it's 2017, even though most of January is over, I still want to get a calendar. And I ended up getting a Disney princess calendar. Ah, I'm so excited. I think I was out of shot for that, because my excitement just could not be contained. So, like, look at it. Isn't that so cool? Like, it's so cool. I think I want to put it next to my vision board and if you guys want I can actually walk you guys through my vision board so you guys can kind of actually see what I've been wanting I think it used to be in the background of some of my videos like some of my older videos but I'm not real don't really remember so if you guys want that let me know and let's set the water perfect and also, you probably noticed me going back and forth because I do not want to flood my house. That is a surefire way to get myself in a, a whole lot of trouble. This is why I love doing pictures in the bathroom. This is why everyone loves doing pictures because lighting is just so on point. I just can't stand it. And do you see the new do? Yes. I did it myself, and yes, I'm proud of myself, and yes, I'm just trying to kill time because running a bath takes so long, and I don't want to, uh, and I don't want to neglect you guys. I promise you guys two videos a month, and I've only done one video so far this month. Final number three, I want to share a poem with you guys that has really inspired me to kind of go after what I want. And it's by Aaron Hansen. It says, there is, there is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And I love that quote so much. I think it's a little, um, it's a poem by this young writer. And it's kind of inspired me to definitely stop thinking so negatively. Because, yes, I it like to be a ray of sunshine, but I think sometimes my default can be super negative. And I even inspired me to do this painting, which you might have seen on my Instagram. So, it's this stick figure, stick figures was the best I could do, that's 
kind of on this edge of this cliff. And the go-to question is like, what if I fall? What if I don't make it? What if I don't go after my dreams or do what I want? But then the next panel is, what if you fly? And we always think so negatively, like our default is so negative of like, oh, what if my work doesn't make it? What if this doesn't do exactly what I want it to do? But what if it does? Like, why can't we think that way? Why can't we think, oh, this is gonna go well. This is gonna go great. Oh my gosh. Just some, just some perspectives. So, number one, do not, would not invite them into your living space. Don't invite them into your head space. Number two, new calendar. And if you want it, a tour of my vision board. Also, I think I want to do a tour of my a book collection as well. Because I think I tried to film that last year and the, fo the footage got corrupted. Number three, what if I fall? But what if you fly? I hope to see you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.